Wow, that is really cool. It basically has a waterfall on it, a large pooling area on the top. We so need an intake bay to get rid of the, uh, is that duckweed down there? Yeah, basically, you, oh, he's got llamas. Or those apacas. I got a great YouTube van sitting in here that drove all the way from Chicago today. We got a beautiful golden butterfly. It's like a sake, black and white. And then we got an orange and white kohaku. Fish will come right up to you. And you just lay down there. And then we got to fix one more thing. Yes, <laughs> much better. Look at that. What is it? Yeah, it, it does not say Ohio State. It says Aquascape. There you go. I'm dropping it. Lifestyle. I'm back. Hey. <laughs> hey, Corey. Welcome back. It's a little bit more of a nice day today. It's not raining. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's up, Brian? I got some fish for you guys all the way back in. I got a great YouTube van sitting in here that drove all the way from Chicago today. Really? Yeah. With three hand fed fish that have already trained that you should be able to have eaten out of your hand in probably a week in the new pond. Oh, so it takes about a week to do it? Well, well, probably because there's a new pond. They were eating out of the old pond, so they, it'll probably take a week and you'll be getting them out. Okay, awesome. Is there like a certain way I need to train? Like, oh, I'll, I'll tell you all that. Okay. Did you wear that hat for me, young man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you bring fish and I get disrespect. I feel like Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> so here's a good shirt for you. So American flag, red and blue with two awesome koi on it. Oh, that's nice. awesome. Yeah, and then dad, I even got one for you too. 2XL? Yep. Okay, there you go there. You. And Corey, I got one for you too, since you're the one that built this amazing hey, pond. You. All right, well these fish have been traveling a long way, so let's get them out of there. Oh, what color are they? Well, I will tell you, that's your Koi Crunchies. Don't eat those, although they taste like uh, bad stale Cheetos. Okay, let's go around uh, go the back. Yep, the okay. there. Hey! Hey, what's up? Where's the kids? Oh, we should show the kids. You want to see the new fish? Yeah. Come on, see them. You got to tell Brett what color they are. So we got a gold one. Oh, beautiful. Show him. We got a beautiful golden butterfly. Oh, a, 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 a butterfly koi. Yep, I, I think we have one in here too. Okay. It's like a sake, black and white. Okay. Oh, nice. Wow. Nice looking one, huh? Yeah. And then we got an orange and white kohaku. Nice looking fish. So these will train the other fish. Okay, because I have other butterfly and stuff in there, and I have a shiboy too. Okay, okay. So here's the new fish, guys. Do you like coming over and feeding the fish? Uh-huh. What colors are that? Tell Brett what color. Orange and white. Yep. What about this one? Pretty much yellow and white. <laughs> and then what about <laughs> A cow! <laughs> he said it looks like a cow. Should we let him out of the bags or should we just let him live in the bag? What should we do? <laughs> We're gonna let him float for about 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll let him go in there. We got not only your shirt, we got these koi crunchies. So this is Parker? Yeah, this is Parker. And what do you like to do? You like to bring friends over here to show off the pond? He does. He likes to feed the fish and show off the pond. He's got a pool. That's pretty cool, Parker. Okay, so we're gonna set you up here right, buddy. So we've got a rubber mat for you to lay on. Oh wow. So that you could just get them to train for eating at the same spot every time you can find your way out here. So I figured this is, it's actually made for a pool, so maybe your neighbors will steal it. <laughs> get it back. So you can just lay this mat down right here on the edge. The fish will come right up to you. And you just lay down there and then we got to fix one more thing that's broken while I'm out here. Yes, yeah. much better. Look at that. What is it? Yeah, it, it, it does not say Ohio State. It says Aquascape. Aquascape. <laughs> yeah. Like the Aquascape. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. A nice little cap for you. I like that because I spike my hair usually. <laughs> there you go. We were here four weeks ago, six weeks ago. When was I here? Yeah, roughly. Six weeks ago. And the skies were black and the koi weren't eating out of the hand yet. So I got these three koi trained, brought them all the way back, and then we're going to have pizza or something for dinner, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right, let's hang out and have some fun until we let those guys out. Come on, buddy. So just go down to your knees right now. Yep, there you go. And then just kind of go out there. We're going to let you actually put the fish in. Yeah, let's go keep going out there. So this is the orange and white one. Okay. Okay. Come on, you know, stuff. So yeah, reach in there with Drop them in. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> so here he is right here. 
Now, which color is this guy? Go up, bracket this one. The last one in here. There you go. There you go. Ta da! Nice. There he is. So, those are three new fish. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. My pleasure. And so, what you'll do is you'll just lay right down here and then start feeding them right in here and splash it. Right in here? Yes. Do I need to like do something to get their attention? Yes, you splash and then you put a little bit of the, break up a little bit of the koi crunchies and then, you know, they'll start coming up eventually. And within a week, they'll be eating out of your hands. Okay. Okay. And not only will those two be eating out of your hands, all the rest will start coming. Do when those three teach them. Okay, okay. So I'll have a lot. Oh yeah. All those fish in there will start eating. You guys need to help Brett train those fish to eat out of your hands, okay? So you gotta come over and you gotta feed them the koi crunchies. You wanna taste a koi crunchy? Yeah, yeah. yeah? you're not allergic to shrimp, are you? No. Okay, you wanna taste a koi crunchy? Sure, why not? The fish eat them. No, I want high There you go. Look at them. Yum. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, take a bite. Me. Take a bite. What are they shrimp? What do you think? It tastes okay? He threw it to the fish. That's a smart boy right there. Yeah, throw it to the fish. <laughs> he threw it in the waterfall. It's coming down. Woo! You want one more? Grab one. Get that rock. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's wheat flour, rice, cornmeal, pollock, fish meal. Mom, you want one? I don't. <laughs> I love my job. So that's how the plants spread and they grow. But then you've also got like really fibrous roots that yeah. feel like almost like a brush. Feel that? They do. Oh yeah. Right? And that's like what's going to help collect so does, all the things in the water. And, oh, so that's, so yeah. I was going to, how does it like, you know, when you put the actual plant in the ground or it's in the water? Yeah, this one floats. Okay, so yep. I was going to say, so how does it absorb the water? How does it suck it up? How right, so those, through all those little fibrous roots, that's it's going to pull it, all the nutrients. Every All this little stuff's going to get attached and all this bacteria that's going to live inside all these little roots and help filter out the water. A little head for pond professor in Absolutely. there? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I mean, Good. I learned it from somewhere. And you'll be, and you'll be throwing those out in about a month because they're going to spread so fast. That's how they float. So the water hyacinth has this like almost like styrofoam. So here, hold this. You can feel it. Oh you can wow. Feel that styrofoam and yeah. you can squeeze it and feel that's how it floats. Filled with air. Yep, it's got all those little air pockets in it. Oh, so that's how it floats. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah you'll be throwing those away. <laughs> they'll they'll, they'll <laughs> expand. Oh, because they come out. They'll be yeah. a lot. Of but it's an annual that'll go away at the, you know, won't come back next year. You just add a new plant next year. So you worked for two years at Air Canada? Yeah. As a gate agent? And yeah, I worked for two years at Air Canada. I was, uh, you know, I did the, I moved the jet bridge on the aircraft and I would check people in at the front and I kind of run around, do anything and everything. I loved it. Tell them um, what you do when you were there. Where you went? I flew to Paris. What? First class. I bet your mom and dad have never been to Paris. No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't. No. Paris might never be the same if you were there. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. So you got to see the Eiffel Tower. Yep, at night. And I'm so glad I got to do that, you know. Because that was actually three years before this all happened. So it was good that I got to do all those big big stuff. So. But you've always been fascinated by airplanes. Oh, yeah. Commercial aircraft. Like, I can name them off. I know them all in my head. I, I, I love them. Yeah, yeah. When's the last time you were up on an airplane? A couple months ago. Oh, yeah? Where'd you go? We went to Florida. Oh, oh, oh yeah. nice. And I love Delta. That's my favorite airline. Okay. Yeah, Tell them where you're going Friday. I'm going to Hawaii. Oh, that's right. You guys said you were going to yeah. Hawaii. So I get to be on an airplane for a while. That's very awesome. Yeah. Have you ever been on a private jet? No. What if I took a private jet and flew up here and picked you up and then brought you back to Aqualand? That would be out of this world. Corey, how's that sound? Is there a seat for me? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we do that, Dad? Hey. I got a friend with a jet and we got Aqualand is literally across the street from the DuPage Airport. We come pick you up, fly you down to Aqualand for the night and fly you back the next day. That would be perfect. out of this world. Yeah, I've never flown on a private jet. Okay, let's make that happen. I used to work for Signature Flight Support too which is the FBO out of some DTW. Okay. So that's where like the private jets go. Yeah. So I've seen them and stuff, but I've never rode in one, but that's where like you would fly in with a private jet. It would go. I know like the head person there. See, every time I come up here, I commit myself to something else. So we'll come pick you up and bring you to Aqualand. You can spend the night at Aqualand. Okay. Heck yeah. All right. That's awesome. All right. That's a deal. That sounds good. <laughs> so they're going to eventually get used to that. We just turned the waterfall off because we don't want the floating pieces to go into the skimmer right now. These fish will eat out of the hands it takes about a week of training every day so every day you're going to be out here for 20 minutes or so right brett yep working with the koi countries laying on your mat getting this thing to actually work there's three trained fish in here right now and they will train the other ones once he starts getting this done so hey corey great job my pleasure and it truly is it warms my heart i almost wore that mask today what one spider-man you got both of them on you got your double maskered 
That's 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 my kind of double masking right there. Yeah, work your other senses, right? Yeah, since I lost sight, uh, I would say my hearing is the thing that is the best out of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my smell is. That I I have sinus problems, mm -hmm. and uh, it's I can smell, but not. I mean, not. I don't think it's any better than. I haven't noticed it. In well, that's good because you're sitting downwind of Corey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I had just had to keep pushing away, getting every test done, so that uh, when it was my turn to get lungs, I could do it, and you know, it could, you know, that was the only way out. Amazing. So, yeah. It's, Gosh, that's amazing. And you feel so much healthier now, right? I feel so normal. Yeah, I feel I am. My my lung function is perfect. It's better than they thought I was gonna get. Yeah. And sometimes too, even once you get an organ, you don't get out of it what someone else was that with the recipient what the donor was getting with it really? so yeah it's, it happens yeah yeah so just because the lung might not it might it might not uh like where it's at even though it's not rejecting sometimes you just don't or like you know your airway doesn't match up great or you know there's a lot of different things that happen that you don't get the full volume out of it that you're supposed to but Mine did. They got. You lost your eyesight, but you gained some lungs, and and basically you can now live. At first, I was, you know, I I, I was upset, you know, but it just happened. Uh, of course. Because I'm so young, you know, and I've always been kind of independent, and you know, whatever I need to do, I do, and um, it took that from me, but you know. I would, if I had to do it, if I had to do it all over again, I would lose my eyesight again to, to be here. It's oh. worth it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Glad you're healthy. Yeah. yeah, so am I. Thank God. What a great young man. So mature. And he's got such a good perspective on life. He said he's never felt healthier. And that's because of his new lungs. But he lost the eyes. But I just think that... I just want him to enjoy this pond, and we are gonna get him a jet to ride to Aqualand. So that'll be another video, him coming down and visiting Aqualand and seeing the turtles. And I think I might give him a couple turtles when he's there too. So this is really special. I think Corey did a great job. The certified Aquasieves contractor is coming together to help out someone in need. It's just a blessing to be able to do this. Cute kids next door, and uh, I don't know. I think that for me to be able to do this for somebody that more than deserves it is uh, just a complete blessing. All right, so we're going to surprise the guys, huh? Surprise the team here. We're uh, in an in-progress project here. We're, we rebuilt the waterfall a little while ago. This is a one-acre pond. Oh, nice. Xavier, the muscle of the team here. This was an old, like, rock quarry. They used to use this area as a flushing pond. Okay. So they would pump water up from the Huron River, flush the gravel. The homeowner had this dream. Is many, this many the house? Ago. So this is his barn. He oh, actually man. lives across the street. That is really cool. Yep, he had it rebuilt, reused all the old beams. And so, so this pond has a water meal, which I did a video the other day on this water meal and ways to control and what we need to do. It basically has a waterfall on it. It's got a large pooling area on the top. It's got a submerged pump. So like I we said- We need an intake bay to get rid of the- uh, Oh yeah. Duck, is that duckweed down there? This is water meal. Oh, this water is meal. the water meal. Yep. Uh, similar to duckweed. So my team's working actively on this. First, we had rebuilt the waterfall we're doing some landscaping cleaning some stuff up and just kind of manicuring and rocking it so so this is what you built over here the, the waterfall no, so another company had built this originally we basically came in and just rebuilt the waterfall just recently this was many many years ago before you know I had gotten to so this is a liner pot this has a liner in it so yes. someone else put a liner in it yes so we just yep. need an intake bay to get rid of the water meal oh yeah definitely need to find a way to get one in here oh my gosh look at this What's up, guys? Wow, that is really cool. I love the lily pond area up there. Let me say hello to you guys. I'm the pond guy, Greg. Nice to meet you. I'm Xavier Williamson. <laughs> hey, Xavier. Nice to meet you. So is this the, is this the hardest working guy in the crew, guys? <laughs> Some days. <laughs> and what are your guys' names? Austin. Austin. My hand's a little wet. So I like that. it. I'm the pond guy. <laughs> Dylan. Dylan. Okay, and then who do we got down there? That's Leo. Hey, Leo. Nice to meet you guys. What do you like about your jobs? This. Hard work. Being in the water. Uh-huh. 
Hard work and being in the water. I, you got two keepers here, buddy. That's right. Okay, so up here is kind of like a, a, just it recirculates, huh? Yeah, so you got a Look big, that. large pump down in the, in the bottom of the pond up there, and then uh, it just kind of comes out on the one end. Wow, look at this. Yep. You got the pickerel plant flowering. Oh, yeah. Beautiful white water lilies. He obviously dyes the water a little bit. So yeah, basically, it's, you, it's, oh, it's he's got llamas. Or are those alpacas? Alpacas, yeah. <laughs> This is fun. I'm actually treating this with the lake uh, pond treatments right now. Uh-huh. You may not be able to see it in the video, but this is about three feet deep. Yes. And when we first started, it's full of muck and debris and everything. I can actually see all the way down to the bottom. Okay. When I throw a packet in here, it goes down all the way to the bottom. You got your hardworking team out here right now. They're yes. just cleaning up a lot of overgrown vegetation and stuff like yep. this. Yep, so the homeowner wants us to kind of clean up this area, cover it up, um, and add a little bit more rock in here. So the water level's down right now because we had just, if you can kind of see around the edge of the pond, when this pond was originally built, it didn't have anything but that 30 mil liner. Uh -huh. So over a 10 year period, it got real brittle. So we patched up holes, covered it with underlayment fabric, and then put rock over it because we want to protect it from the sun. Wow, yep. very good. So what year is this for you, young man, in the pond business? 20. 20 years. You don't look old enough to be doing this for 20 years. So you started working out with Chuck Kirschbaum, another certified contractor. Yes, I did. Learned the trade, went off on your own how long ago? 2012, so almost okay. 10 years. So Chuck was one of your mentors? Yes, certainly one of my mentors and many of the other CACs, uh, Mark Wilson and uh, John Adams. And what, would, and what would you say about the Certified Officers Contractor Network? How it's been valuable for you and your business? Oh, it's been absolutely instrumental in my business. Every step of the way from uh, just constructive criticism to how to run a business, things that are working for each other. I mean, you can't beat it. There's nothing else out there for it, you know. Um, I love awesome. it. You do great work, you got a great team, and that's what it's all about right there. If you're interested in joining the Certified Oxygen Contractor Network, check out the link below to find all of the training opportunities. We are always looking for hardworking people. Every Certified Oxygen Contractor wants people that love their jobs, wants people that loves water and working hard. We have all sorts of training. We hire for attitude, we train for aptitude. So check out the links below. I love my customers.